So as we are doing our revisions, it is important that we go through our right-angled triangles as we are to consider the theorem of Pythagoras. Remember, we referred to this on a right-angled triangle. I said if you are given a right-angled triangle, let's say this is A, this is B, and this is C, representing uh, the sides of a right angle triangle where A and B are the right sides and C is the hypotenuse. We saw that the hypotenuse squared, that is C squared, is equal to the sum of the square of the two shorter sides that are remaining, which is A squared and B squared together, the sum of the squares. So if we are to consider this, we are given on this question of uh, an exam, a typical exam. Study the diagram below and answer the questions that follow. 5.21. This is our diagram. On 5.21, they wanted you to calculate the length of BC. This is where we have BC. If we are to take a closer look in triangle ABC, this triangle here, we are only given one side, which is 24. Remember, x we do not know. This is one that we need to calculate later on. We are not given. We are not given BC. We are not given x. So it is going to be difficult for us to use this triangle because we are only given one side. Pythagoras' theorem is used when given two sides. You must be, you, we must be given two sides. You must be given two sides. You must be given two sides. And you are being asked to calculate what? You want to calculate the third side. Calculate the third side. That is the condition of your Pythagoras. You must be having two sides that you are given. So which triangle? Let's consider B, D, C, this triangle here. If we look closely, we are going to see that we are given two sides, 8 and 6. So we can use these two sides to calculate BC in that triangle. All right? So that is uh, what you're going to have in this case. So we're going to, we are going to consider this triangle, guys. As we can see, it has two sides, which is the triangle BDC. This right, as you can see, it's a right angle triangle. These two triangles are right angled, remember? It is a right angle triangle also because of what? This at D here. We have a right angle there. All right. So 5.21 using our Pythagoras theorem, B, B, C squared. That is the hypotenuse, the one which is facing the 90 degrees. Remember I said, guys, the one that is opposite to the right angle is your hypotenuse according to triangle B, D, C. So uh, using... Triangle BDC or BCD. BCD is the same. All right. We are going to notice that the hypotenuse, as we had, this is our hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse squared is our BC. So that is BC squared is equal to what? The sum of the two shorter sides. The two shorter sides of this triangle will be what? The 6 and the 8. So that is 6 squared plus 8 squared. So that's it, guys. BC can be calculated. As we can see, it's an equation. So BC squared is equal to what? 6 squared. That was going to give us 36 plus uh, 64 from 84 from uh, this 8 squared. It was going to be a 64. So adding these two, we're going to obtain 100. And to remove the square, as I said in our introduction, that the square is simply the square root, the square root both sides. So that was going to give us the length of BC, which is 10. And these are in what? Centimeters. The other dimensions are in centimeters. So therefore, uh, BC was going to be 10 centimeters. So as you have this BC, it is part of your triangle. But in this triangle ABC, it is not the hypotenuse, it was hypotenuse in triangle B, in this triangle B, C, D. It was facing the 90 degrees, so it was a hypotenuse there. So this is what? 
10 centimeters. So as we are to consider now the other part of the triangle, it is no longer a hypotenuse that we consider this time. No. In triangle ABC. So it was in triangle BCD. All right. So let's consider to say that um, on 5.22, we are asked to calculate the length marked X. The length that is marked X, this part. So what are we going to consider this time? If we are to look closely in this triangle A, B, C, in this triangle, we are now having two sides, the 24 and the 10, that one that we calculated. So we can use triangle A, B, C this time. All right. So on 5.22, use oh, from your triangle or just using uh, triangle A, B, C. So from triangle ABC, the hypotenuse, still on the same case, hypotenuse squared. Hypotenuse, what is the hypotenuse? The one that is facing what? The 90 degrees, which is our X. So our X is the hypotenuse. So X squared is equal to what? The sum of the two shorter sides, the square of those sides. So that's the 24 and what? The 10, the remaining size that we have. That's 24 squared plus... Uh, 10 squared. So that was going to give us what? X squared. We square the given size 24 squared, simply 24 times 24. It was going to give us 576 plus 10 squared, which is 100. All right. So let's add these together. So that was going to give us uh, 676. Then we need to determine uh, the square root of this. So it was going to be the square root, the square root. Uh, so we need the square root of 676, which is going to give us a 26. All right. So that is our X is going to be equal to 26 uh, in centimeters as we have the other length that are being given in what? In uh, centimeters. So being given these typical questions, figure out the diagram how it is given because as we saw on our introductions it was just basic questions that you are given this is a typical exam they want you to use all the necessary information that you have learned from your introductions so they can combine a given triangle like this and after that they can even go through finding of the area Remember, you did area with part of your, uh, your, your, your syllabus also to work with area as we are going to have that uh, part of area of a triangle, this and that. So let's revise our typical exam questions as much as we can as we are preparing for uh, these exams that are ahead of time.